All right, so boom. Five songs I don't like anymore. I'm going to say this now so I won't get any comments whining about it. For some of these songs, I'm not saying that I flat out dislike them or that I think they're trash now. What I really mean is my enjoyment of these songs have severely decreased over time. For every song on this list, if you asked me my opinion on it when I first heard the song, I would have gave it rave reviews. I would have been all like, oh, this is one of the rapper's best songs. It's fire. It's this. It's that. But if you ask me now how I feel about the song, I would just say, eh, like, it's whatever. It's a cool song, I guess. So yeah, these are five songs that for one reason or another, I don't enjoy them nowhere near as much as I used to. But a song I do enjoy is 2AM by the artist LH. Follow LH on his Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud, and y'all already know to support the channel. Like the video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. This was one of the first rap hooks that I fell in love with. I was a little nigga when this song came out. I was only seven. But funny thing is, a lot of T.I. songs I heard when I was little, I heard them from racing games. Like, <laughs> I first heard 24's on the Need for Speed Underground soundtrack. I heard his song, Do Your Thing, with his PSC crew on Need for Speed Most Wanted. Then, of course, You Don't Know Me was on the Midnight Club Dub Edition soundtrack. Also back then, I never saw the periods that was in his name, so I used to call him Ty instead of T.I. But after playing all these games, I'm like, dog, who is this Ty person that has a song on every single racing game that I play? I can't get away from Mr. Ty. But for that reason, 24's was always my favorite song from his sophomore album, Trap Music. It was my favorite song until two things happened. First, I actually listened to the whole song because previously I only knew the hook. Like I said, I was seven when it first came out. Seven-year-olds don't hear shit else, only the hook. And second, I actually listened to the whole album. When I got old enough and I listened to the entirety of trap music, I realized something. 24's is not even top 10 on this album. I see so many people saying 24's is one of Ty's best songs, and I'm like, bruh, it's not even top 10 on the album that it's on, so how is it a top 10 Ty song of all time? In my opinion, the top 10 songs on trap music are Be Easy, No More Talk, Let Me Tell You Something, King of the South, Be Better Than Me, Rubber Band Man, T.I. vs. T.I.P., I Can't Quit, Doing My Job, and I Still Love You. I would put 24's right behind Be Easy at number 11. But other than that, I originally liked the song because the bass was very hard hitting and the hook was hella catchy. But other than those two things, this song is one of the most generic rap tracks that Ty has ever made. Most of that is because of the subject matter itself, like, you know, what can you really do with a song about cars and rims? But that's why I'm not saying the song is bad, it's just many other songs on the album are better. So that's why 24 is on this list. It's still a dope track, but after realizing how basic the lyrics was, and after I heard the rest of the album, I realized just how many better songs there are. And I truthfully just don't enjoy the song as much as seven-year-old me did. I'm not going to lie. If I ever was to make a top 10 most overrated Eminem songs list, this will 100% be on that list. My Name Is, it's a song that I honestly got tired of. One reason I think the song is overrated is because people give this song way too much credit for being the song that skyrocketed Eminem's career. Like, yes, this is a song that made Dr. Dre notice Eminem and afterwards Eminem became the most popular rapper of all time. Uh, this is where it all started, blah, 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 blah. But fuck all that. Eminem has made many songs that are better than My Name Is. I don't want to pull the whole, if you think this is this person's best song, you clearly have a listen to a lot of their music card. But for Eminem's My Name Is, it, that, that might be the case. If you think this is a top 10 best song by Eminem, I'm convinced there's a ton of Eminem songs that you have not heard. So another reason why I don't like the song as much is because the humor of the song really isn't funny to me anymore. Like every single line that used to crack me up, I don't even slightly chuckle at anymore. This song really isn't that funny. Even the most iconic part of the song, the hook started to get on my nerves. What? My name is who? My name is every every Slam Shady. After hearing that so many times, that started to bug me. So Eminem's My Name Is is probably the main song on this list where my likeness of the song has dropped the most. I hardly get any enjoyment out of listening to it now.
I made a video a long time ago called The Most Confusing J. Cole Song of All Time, and this was the song I was talking about in that video. Nobody's Perfect was originally a song I only enjoyed for Missy Elliott because Missy's voice just sounded so smooth and nice on that chorus. And I always knew the words of J. Cole's part and I liked rapping it, but singing the hook was always my favorite part. I don't want to completely repeat myself like what I said in the most confusing song video. So if you really want to know what I think about this song, go check that video out. But to keep it short and sweet, this song has no clear message. I've listened to this song many a times and I have no clue what this shit is supposed to be about. Because of the title, I obviously thought it was a song about pointing out the flaws of a person and saying how no matter how great someone may seem, nobody is perfect. But J. Cole doesn't say shit about that at all in either of the two verses. I want all of you listening to this video right now to go re-listen to Nobody's Perfect, look up the lyrics to the song, and come back to me and tell me what it's about. Because whenever I come up with some idea on what it could be about, I look at the lyrics and think, this can't be what the song is about because he doesn't say anything about this. But you guys listen to the song and let me know. So, yeah, eventually I may make a top 10 best songs from Lil Wayne's The Carter series. I've been thinking about this video for a while now. From all five of the Carter albums, there's 80 plus songs, and I'm going to talk about the best 10 out of that 80 plus. But with that being said, Amelia is not going to be on there. I'm one of y'all right now. If I ever make that video, Amelia is not going to be on that list. I've always been someone that thought Amelia wasn't even the best song on the Carter 3. I see some people say Amelia is Wayne's best song in general. And I'm like, what Lil Wayne songs have you heard where you think Amelia is his best one? Kind of like what I said about Ty and Eminem earlier, Amelia is a song that I feel only casual people think is his best song. There are songs from the Carter 5 that are better than Amelia, but some people will never admit that. Now, when Amelia came out, this is when Lil Wayne was on top of the world. Nobody was messing with Wayne around this time. And this song was one of the reasons he was so big. And I was rocking with the song, like I definitely enjoyed it. But over the years, this is a Weezy song that I don't come back to that much. And even back then when it first came out, I never let some of these whack bars slip past me. You pop them cause we pop them like over Redenbacher. But you like a bitch with no ass, you ain't got shit. My name ain't big, but I keep that flame, man. I get it because of a big lighter. Like that line was always so weak to me. And I be the shit, now you got loose bowels. I don't owe you like two vowels. Hey, hey man, this song has a few trash bars that nobody ever talks about. Anyway, you guys let me know if you would be interested in a top 10 best songs from Lil Wayne's The Carter series. And I might do a top 10 worst songs too, but don't think Amelia is going to be on the worst list. <laughs> I don't dislike the song that much. If you're cruising, I got that music. Now, one of my homeboys first told me about this song when I was like in the 8th grade. And I think what made me like the song so much was because I was impressed by the fast rapping. And the hook was pretty groovy too, so I used to like the song a lot. Y'all wanna know what happened and why this song is on the list though? I have not heard this song since I was in the 8th grade. I just heard this song again this year in March. That was my first time hearing trunk music since 2010. That was nine years ago. Who the hell takes a nine year hiatus for listening to a song? Like my nigga, I am 23 years old. I have not heard this song since I was 14. So after I heard it this year, it did bring back some nostalgic eighth grade memories and whatnot. But other than that, I had like no reaction when listening to this song. After I got done reminiscing about my life in middle school, it ended up just being a sound that was playing in my ear. And I asked myself, why the hell did I ever like this song so much? The song is still cool, but if you would have asked 14 year old Amir about this song, I would have told you it was great. And now I don't think it's really all that. I may have to go on another nine year hiatus from listening to it now. Some Yellow Wolf songs I do think are great are Till It's Gone, Best Friend, and his verse on the song Twisted. But Trump music is like very average when you compare it to those songs. And like I said, I be thinking about 14 year old me and thinking like, boy, why would you so fascinated by this song? It's nothing really incredible. But just because it's not incredible doesn't mean it's not bad. I still recommend it for people who want to check it out. Outro, outro. 